All right, De Moore's theorem, finding complex roots. Now, um, I'm going to ask you to, to pause the video and write these formulas down. All right, so as you wrote this, these formulas down, notice that they're identical formulas, you guys. Um, when you're trying to find the nth root, um, notice that you've got more. They're, they're implying that you have more than one root, right? If, if you're trying to find the cube root, there's going to be three roots. If you're trying to find the square root, there's going to be two. If you're trying to find the fifth root, there's going to be five. So that's what this implies. Okay, so you take the square root of r, cosine, and you're adding theta plus 2 pi times k. Now, if k is 0, you're going to multiply by 0. If k is 1, then you multiply by 1. If k is 2, you end up with 4 pi, and so on. Once you get past this, this is repetitive, and you'll see how that's repetitive. Same thing with 360. Okay, so here we go. Find all complex fourth roots of 16 cosine 60 i sine 60. So let's um, let's go ahead and, and figure out how to write this down. Right? Uh, we want to find the fourth root of 16 cosine 60 plus i sine 60. All right, well, the fourth root, okay, so we're going to find z sub 0. Oh, by the way, k equals 0, 1, 2, 3. There are four roots there, right, starting at 0. So z sub 0 is our first one, equals the fourth root of 16, cosine, and this is going to be 60 plus... Um, 360 times 0 divided by 4, right, divided by n, the fourth root, okay, plus i sine, and we know that 360 times 0 is 0. Simplified, you're just going to end up with 3 halves um, there. So the fourth root is 2 cosine 3 halves. That was 60, not 6. Right? So, um, sorry about that. So that should have been, and I corrected it here, that should have been 15. Right? So this becomes cosine 15 degrees plus I sine. 15. Um, now notice they said leave it in polar form, in polar form. So we're gonna, that's our first one. Okay, now we're looking for z sub 1, which again is going to be the fourth root of 16 is 2, cosine 60 plus, this is going to be 1 times 360 divided by 4 plus i sine 60 plus 360 divided by 4 equals 2 cosine. And we know that 360 plus 60 is 420 divided by 4 is cosine 105 plus I sine 105 degrees. Z sub 2 is 2 cosine 60 plus 2 times 360 divided by 4 plus I sine um, 60 plus 2 times 360 is 720 divided by 4 equals 2 cosine, and if we have to, we're going to use a calculator, um, 780 
divided by 4 is 195 plus I sine 195. And then one more, right? One more. Z, and let's give myself a little bit more room. Z sub 3 is equal to this, the fourth root of 16 is 2. Cosine 60 plus 3 times 360 over 4 plus I sine. Uh, 60 plus 10, 80 divided by 4, and this all equals 2 times the cosine of 285, I believe. Check my arithmetic. Plus I sine 285, and notice please that you have. One, two, three, four answers there for finding the fourth root. If it was a cube root, you would have three answers, etc.